Hey, my name's Scott and I'm a Tesla customer. I'm going to share my experience ordering uh, Tesla Solar and how, how the installation process went as well. I'm not affiliated with Tesla. I uh, don't represent them. Um, the images I've taken from their website uh, are, for, are, are my own. Um, and this is my customer viewpoint. So let me go through the process. By the way, uh, if you use my referral codes, you may receive up to $500 off. That's a current promotion. And of course, that could change at any time. So what's the process? Well, these are actually the steps that are listed uh, on the Tesla website. Once you place an order, they will show you these steps and your uh, process you know, through them. So I'm going to go through these and give you some tips and tricks as well. By the way, um, I do have some other, other videos describing the installation process, um, and I'm going to be recording some new videos um, giving a periodic review of how the system is performing. So please do subscribe to my channel. Um, you'll get notified of future updates. So when you order online, uh, you can choose from four system sizes and how many power walls you want. But don't worry, the system size can change later. You can request that it changes, um, and they can uh, reduce the size if there's not enough room uh, on your roof. Um, th so the bottom line that you need to know, they can actually do systems that don't fit into the four buckets that are shown. They have a small, medium, large, and extra large shown on their website. They can actually do different sizes to that. So you can end, end up end up with a uh, you know, a different number of panels than, than what they actually show. The ordering process is really simple and you can click, uh, you know, once once you've gone through the process, they will recommend a system size to you, but you can then edit this as well. Um, and what's new uh, as of the time of recording, um, they are now letting you go ahead without any power walls. And it used to be the case uh, for most of uh, this year, at least, that you had to have at least one part wall. So it's kind of up to you whether you want them. Uh, they do have uh, some supply chain constraints uh, with power walls um, and even the panels. By the way, uh, I did order the panels, um, so I don't have any experience of the roof. When you order online, uh, you only have to pay 100 bucks, by the way, uh, at that point. So that's a deposit. Of course, that could change, but that's what the amount is today. Um, you do have to go through an online home assessment. You want to make sure that you submit everything you possibly can. It's going to delay your order otherwise. So you need your latest electricity bill. That shows them well that you own the house and who you are and that you uh, at least have some permission to put in solar. But it also usually shows your energy consumption. Um, and so they need that to estimate what size of uh, installation you need. And some utilities have rules about the size of installation cannot be more than, than what you would typically use in a, in a year. Um, try and submit as many photos as you can uh, of the roof uh, if you can do that. If it's a single story house, that's going to be easy. If it's a two story, that, that could be really hard. But if you can submit them, do, do that. Um, if you want your power walls installed in the garage, uh, then make sure you submit photos of the garage as well. They do need room for not just the power walls, but also other electrical boxes and new breaker boxes that they are going to install. I believe all of that can be installed outside, um, but uh, I don't know. It might depend on different parts of the country. The preference, I imagine, is to put them inside the gar uh, garage uh, and just keep them protected. So submit what you can and try and be as detailed as you can. By the way, one gotcha, uh, just check before you submit, is your roof uh, photo, is that up to date on Google Maps? Um, this is actually a picture of our house. Uh, this is Google Maps uh, now, uh, which shows that we have some pool solar panels on it. But when I ordered originally, those weren't in the Google Maps photo. Uh, now, I did point out that we had those, but the first version of the design that came in actually showed uh, solar panels on top of the pool panels, which, of course, uh, wasn't going to work. <clears throat> so once uh, the system design is ready, they will text you uh, or email you, uh, and you're going to get a diagram something like this. It's, it's a simplified diagram.
Uh, that process can take a few weeks. I mean, that was my experience. Um, could could be less, could be more. Uh, and by the way, if you request any changes, you have to go through your project advisor. Uh, that will then delay the process again. So if you wait like if you waited like I did for three weeks to get the initial design, a revision could take uh, up to three weeks again. Um, if you cannot get hold of your project advisor by emailing them, just pick up the phone. Uh, if you get through to one of their colleagues, they can also assist you. You don't have to speak to that person. Uh, the person you cannot speak to, unfortunately, directly is the system designer. They are back office uh, only. <clears throat> Uh, just a reminder, if you are ordering, use my referral code, you will get uh, potentially some money off, depending on whether Tesla are still doing the promotion, which they are right now, up to 500 bucks. Okay, so once I got back my design, I'm like, well, why can't I have more panels? And the answer is almost certainly fire setbacks. This is international codes. Um, if you want to find out more about them, just Google fire setbacks for so solar or photovoltaic. Um, you will find the guidelines, um, but the sort of sh the short answer really is that there must be at least two pathways on the roof from the front to the back. And those two pathways must be, uh, oh, that should say 36 inches. They need to be three feet uh, wide, so not 26, but three feet wide. Um, and this is actually a sketch uh, or a diagram that I got a copy of at the point of installation. And so this kind of illustrates um, these sort of lines here are the sort of, are the roof, um, the peak of the roofs, the ridge of the roof. Uh, and you see on either side, they're doing one foot six inches on either side. Um, and so that's why, that, you know, there has to be that space. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's probably gonna be the number one reason why you can't get as many as you want. Another thing to point out here is that uh, this is our, our sort of rear porch. They will not install on uh, porch structures or other um, non sort of permanent parts of your roof. Uh, so yeah, that's just their company policy. Um, I tried to argue that with them and uh, didn't get anywhere. So once you sign off on the design, they're then gonna send you some more paperwork to sign electronically. Um, and then they're going to proceed uh, potentially to a site visit. They don't always do that. I think if your roof is simple, they probably skip it. Um, but uh, our roof was kind of complex, so they, they did come out. They came very quickly, actually. Um, they're definitely going to need HOA approval uh, if that's uh, necessary in your case. So I would say if you have an HOA, reach out to them as soon as possible and try and understand what they need. Um, they, are, of course, are going to submit to the city for a permit, um, and only once that is granted will they be able to schedule the install. In our case, they actually scheduled the install, I think it was within a week of getting the permit, so it was pretty quick. Um, but of course, it could vary depending on the time of year, which, which part of the U.S. you're in, it, it, you know, um, that could uh, be, be quicker or slower. So, installation day. You're super excited. Um, and just another reminder, I do have a bunch of installation day videos, so check those out. Um, subscribe to the channel as well for more videos coming soon. Uh, if the power walls are going inside the garage, obviously you have to clear space for them. Um, they may, by the way, send you an email saying that you have an obligation, uh, but they don't actually tell you what the obligation is. In my, in my case, it was to you know, make sure there was room for all the power walls. Um, uh, of course, safety is number one. So uh, if the winds are over 25 miles an hour uh, on the day of install, you're not going to be getting installed that day. Um, they're going to reschedule. Uh, I was lucky it was windy the day before my install, um, but on the day it was it was calm. Uh, in our case, uh, and I don't know if they do this every time, but solar, uh, the solar crew were one day, and then the electrical crew who did all this, you know, wiring in and connecting up with power walls, that was all that was done separately um, a few weeks later. Um, I think uh, it's the electrical crews that are the the uh, sort of constraint there uh, at the moment. By the way, the power uh, really only needs to be turned off for the electrical installation, so that's when they do the power walls. Um, but be warned, you know, uh, they, they, that is likely to take uh, all day. So just plan ahead. So the solar's in, the 
electrical work is done, you can turn it on. No, you can't. Uh, one the city has to come out and inspect and sign off. As soon as that happens, uh, they will then submit to your utility company and the utility uh, has to grant what they what is called PTO or permission to operate. So um, unfortunately, uh, your power walls and solar panels are probably not going to do very much uh, until uh, you have that PTO. I believe in some states um, Tesla can actually power you out on sooner, uh, uh, but you can't draw or send back any electricity you know, from the grid. So um, that will vary from state to state. While you're waiting, um, your Tesla power walls will have a cool green light on site though. So at least there's that to look forward to. If you have any um, FAQs, they actually have a really solid um, help center. So just go to tesla.com slash support, click on energy, and you can see a bunch of um, questions and answers there. So, so that's another resource to check out. As I said, um, subscribe. I'm going to publish more of these videos, including reviews once uh, my installation is up and running. Um, so, so remember to subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please like. And lastly, just a reminder, um, if you uh, want to uh, go ahead and order, uh, use my referral code. I'll get something out of it, and so will you. Um, so thanks for watching. And please post your questions in the comments. Uh, I read them all, and I will reply uh, with an answer if I can.